Dear NEET aspirants, welcome to the series 1000 must solve problems for NEET physics. Subscribe and put notification on if you wish to have daily update when I upload a video of this series. A motor car is uh, traveling at 60 meter per second on a circular road of radius 1200 meter. It is increasing its speed at the rate of 4 meter per second square. The acceleration of the car is, we will see how to find the acceleration of the car. Motor car is traveling at 60 meter per second. Okay, on a circular road. Fine. So there is a circular road. The more speed of the motor car is uh, 60 meter per second. Okay. 60 meter per second. And that speed is increasing at the rate of 4 meter per second square. Means it has got a tangential acceleration of 4 meter per second square. Okay. What is the radius of the circular uh, track? Radius of the circular track is 1200 meter. Okay. Now we have to calculate acceleration of the car. Since the car is moving in a circular road, so there is already one acceleration that is centripetal acceleration. Along with that, there is a tangential acceleration. Means the car is not moving with uniform speed. The speed is increasing at the rate of 4 meter per second square. Means there are two accelerations now here. In this direction, there is an acceleration that is tangential acceleration. Towards the center of the circular path, there is centripetal acceleration. So, how to calculate uh, resultant calculation, resultant acceleration? Since the angle between these two acceleration is 90 degree, using parallelogram law of vector addition, we have we can calculate the resultant acceleration. That resultant acceleration is equal to square root of a c square plus a t square. A c stands for centripetal acceleration. A t stands for tangential acceleration. So, how to calculate centripetal acceleration? That is very simple. Centripetal acceleration is equal to V square divided by R. So, what is the speed? 60 meter per second. So, 60 square is 3600 divided by R is 1200. So, centripetal acceleration is 3 meter per second square. Okay. So, net acceleration is equal to square of centripetal acceleration, 3 square. So, 3 square is 9 plus Tangential acceleration is 4. Okay. 4 square. Okay. This is 9. This is 16. 16 plus 9 is square root of 25. Okay. So, the net acceleration is therefore 5 meter per second square. Remember this uh, 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 concept. <coughs> if the speed of the particle is increasing at the rate of, okay, if they have given tangential acceleration, then how to calculate resultant acceleration square root of ac square plus at square. Now we will go to the next question. A car is going around a circular path of radius r1 with a constant speed. Okay. Another car is going around in a circular path of radius r2 with a constant speed. Both the cars are moving with constant speed. If both of them take same time okay same time to complete uh, corresponding paths the ratio of their angular speeds okay so they are speaking about angular speed and time so we need to relate angular speed and time period okay so uh, definitely we have to use uh, for omega equal to 2 pi by t formula is there 2 pi is a constant so what does it mean omega 1 I can write omega 1 by omega 2 is equal to t2 by t1 since since t1 is equal to t2 okay because they have given both the cars they take same time okay so since they take same time t1 is equal to t2 so t2 by t1 will be equal to 1 so ratio of their angular speed omega 1 by omega 2 omega 1 by omega 2 will be simply equal to 1 so therefore first option is the correct one we will go to the next question the earth revolves around the sun at an angular velocity omega is given 
in a circular orbit of radius 1.5 in 10 to the power 8 kilometer kilometer you observe this the force exerted by the sun since omega is given since uh, the body is moving in a circular path centripetal force force exerted is centripetal force is m omega square r okay so angular velocity is directly given so centripetal force is therefore okay so mass is given 6 into 10 to the power 24 into omega square 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 whole square into r what is r 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 kilometer kilo stands for 10 to the power 3 okay so what happens 6 into 10 power 24 6 into 10 power 24 into 4 into 10 power minus 14 plus no no sorry into into uh, 1.5 into 10 power 11 okay so 6 into 4 is 24 24 into 1.5 is 36 okay because yeah 36 into 24 minus 14 24 minus 14 is 10 correct now 10 plus 11 is 21 so 36 into 10 to the power 21 newton is the correct answer third option is correct so hope you know how this uh, formula comes this is actually mv square by r mv square by r in the in the place of uh, v so we have substituted v equal to r omega then we get this equation okay we'll go to the next question a vehicle of mass 1500 kg mass is given okay is moving along a curved path of length 314 meter with a speed of 20 meter per second if it subtends an angle of 90 degree at the center <coughs> the centripetal force needed by the vehicle is okay so a vehicle is moving in a curved path if it subtends an angle of 90 degree at the center so what do we mean by this okay a vehicle is moving in a curved path okay so that path na that path subtends an angle 90 degree at the center okay then the centripetal force we have to calculate centripetal force centripetal force means what is the formula m v square by r so that is equal to what is m 1500 kg into v square is 20 square 20 square is 400 divided by r what is r we don't know so we can calculate r using l is equal to r theta formula okay so r equal to therefore r equal to l by theta what is length of this path 314 meter okay 314 divided by this 90 degree means uh, in uh, <laughs> radians i can write it is pi by 2 right pi by 2 pi by 2 means 3.14 by 2 so that 2 goes up okay so 3.14 goes 100 times now 3.14 into 100 is 314 so 100 into 2 is 200 so r is 200 meter okay so mv square by r this divided by 200 so this two zeros and two zeros go here okay so what is 20 square 20 square is 400 so 15 into 400 divided by 2 2 goes uh, 200 times okay so 200 into 15 so 200 into 10 is 2000 200 into 15 is 3000 so therefore <coughs> centripetal force is 3000 newton centripetal force is 3000 newton third option is the correct one next uh, we'll go to next question uh, an electric fan has blades each of length 30 centimeter so try to understand fan blades say for example there is a uh, electric fan okay and it has got three blades say for example okay length of each blade is uh, 30 centimeter means so this will be the radius 30 centimeter will become the radius as measured from the axis of rotation so this is the axis of rotation if the fan is rotating at 1200 revolutions per minute okay <clears throat> 1200 revolutions per minute okay acceleration 
of a point on the tip of the blade so you have to consider a point on the tip of the blade what is this? its acceleration so acceleration equal to we know that omega square r correct now so omega we don't know but what they have given is frequency revolution per minute okay so omega equal to we know that it is 2 pi f so it is 2 pi f whole square into r or acceleration will be equal to 4 into pi square into so f square into r so what is what is frequency in terms of uh, revolutions per second it will be uh, you have to divide this, this by uh, 60 for one revolution the angular displacement is 2 pi so to convert this into um, <coughs> radian per second what you have to do is okay uh, divide this by uh, 60 so revolutions per second we need so what we'll do so 1200 revolution okay divided by 60 if you do for one minute there are 60 seconds so you will get okay 20 revolutions per second you will get 20 revolution per second 20 per second means it is hertz okay unit of frequency is hertz so i got 20 <coughs> so therefore uh, a is equal to uh, 4 into pi square what is pi square 3.14 in 3.14 is roughly equal to 10 i'll take into f square means uh, 20 square okay into r what is r uh, 30 centimeter 30 centimeter means 0 0.3 so <coughs> what do we get so this is 20 square is 400 400 into 10 is 4000 4000 into 4 is 16000 okay 16000 into 0 0.3 16000 into 0 0.3 16 into 3 is uh, uh, 48 okay roughly it will be roughly it will be approximately 4800 meter per second square so the nearest answer is option number 2 so here what you can do is directly you can find omega also so multiply this by 2 pi by 60 then you get omega directly you can substitute omega and do it or you can simplify omega equal to pi f you write and then you calculate f then you substitute f then you will get the answer thank you very much